What's good y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be speaking about a very touchy topic, but something that we all know, all right? I came across this video right here titled, So What's Really Happening in, in Israel? We all know that mainstream media has a funny way of promoting certain stories just so they can cover up something else. And apparently, this video right here is going to be exposing what the Israeli and Palestinian war is actually trying to cover up. Now, we're about to hop right into it. Really no need to delay. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But without further ado, let's get right into it, man. The case again, it always is to wade through the deceit, the diversions, the cul-de-sacs, the lies surrounding what is currently happening in Israel. And of course, you won't get this information in the mainstream media. In fact, from what I've seen in the last 24 hours, you won't get it from some of the, quote, big names in the so-called alternative media. What is the case again? It always is with every war, is that civilians on both sides are being slaughtered, always the case, while those that order the slaughtering stay in a safe place. When Iraqi civilians were being slaughtered with the invasion of Iraq by America and Britain, where were boy George Bush and Tony Blair? Where were they while it was all going on? Sipping coffee in the White House and Downing Street. It's always the way. And we have Netanyahu sitting here now pontificating. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You, mate are doing nothing. You're sending others to do it like you always do. And the same goes for that which is really behind. Not the window dressing, what is really behind, what is known as Hamas. So, first of all, the bottom line, this was not a surprise attack. Oh, yeah, we well, surprised us. Oh, and really? honestly speaking, that's the number one question that I've had. I told you guys in the last video related to this, where we literally reacted to live footage. The main question that I had is that why all of a sudden, now that Ukraine war, the Ukrainian war and Russian war is subsided from our mainstream media, now that there's no major political news, now that the Hawaii fire situations have died down, now that all of these major news topics are apparently off of the mainstream media, I find it kind of ironic how something just had to happen. Why did this happen now? Apparently, the war started because Palestine, Palestinians are trying to reclaim their land from Israel. Understandable. But what caused it? Like now, like what, like, like what really sparked it? Because I know it wasn't a surprise. I know very much so it was a planned attack. But I just find this to be very, very interesting. Let's continue. Really? Who do you think you're talking to? Bloody idiots. We have the Israeli Defense Forces as one of the most trained and best equipped armies in the world. And we're talking about a very small area in terms of Israel, Gaza. We have Mossad, one of the most sophisticated and widespread intelligence agencies in the world that make surveillance an art form. It's on the cutting edge. 
it knows everything that's going on in that area. But somehow, hundreds of Hamas, quote, militants laid siege to Israel, put thousands of rockets into Israel, which they somehow gathered or built or whatever without Mossad and the IDF having any idea. Oh no, we didn't know about that. We had Hamas operatives coming into Israel on fricking hang gliders. But they never knew it was coming. Hmm. We had fighting in all these different areas of Israel, these different locations. But the IDF and Mossad and all the rest of that vast Israeli security network had no idea. Interesting. Isn't that what they said <clears throat> with night? I'm hearing uh, them saying this is Israel's night. Well, what happened? These planes were, they say, hijacked. And there was a big build up to it, they say, preparing for it. But the whole of the American intelligence military network, oh no, it was a surprise, we didn't know. <sighs> to say they are lying to you is to state the bloody obvious. And we'll get into why. Um, this is a quote from a former IDF soldier who was a border observer. And uh, she worked with the highest level technology available. That's what Israel does. And this is what she said. If a bird came close, we knew. Even a cockroach came to our fence border, we knew. How did 400 Hamas pass through today? The answer is they were allowed to. Was this a surprise attack for the civilian population of Israel? Oh yes, of course. Was it even a surprise attack for many in the rank and file of the, the military? But the inner core that's running the show, surprise to them, you must be bloody joking. And uh, this situation reminded me of someone I've quoted uh, over the years in the books, over the decades. It's a man called Leroy Fletcher Prouty. He served as uh, Chief of Special Operations for the Joint Chiefs of Staff under President uh, Kennedy, JFK. He was a colonel in the United States Air Force and subsequently became a critic of US foreign policy, particularly the covert activities of the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, which he believed was working on behalf of a secret world elite. And this is the telling quote. Fletcher Prouty said, no one has to direct an assassination, it happens. And for mm. assassination, that means an attack like the one in Israel now. <clears throat> as well. No one has to direct an assassination, it happens. The active role is played secretly by permitting it to happen. This is the greatest single clue, he said, who has the power to call off or reduce the usual security precautions. Who has that power in Israel must now come under the spotlight and be questioned why they did so. Because they obviously did. Now, what they want you to do in any situation like this is to take sides. And if I'm going to take the side of anyone, I take the side of the civilians. The civilians in Israel who have been subject to these horrors that continue, and the civilians in Gaza, who are now suffering the horrors of the Israeli response. But in terms of sides, one fighting the other, to take either is to lose the plot. 
He said to take either is to lose the plot, lose the entire meaning as to why this is happening. Chat. This is literally live footage of what's happening right now in Israel. And it's very, very unfortunate to see. <clears throat> but one thing that I can say is, the reason why mainstream media promotes stuff like this without giving the information about what's happening behind closed doors is like I always say, they literally design this matrix in order to be in their benefit. Whether it was a planned attack on a governmental level, whether whatever it is, for you to be known as one of the top security surveillance countries and allow people, it's, it's there's clips all over social media of people literally flying in on fan propelled hand gliders with guns landing into the desert with guns first of all who's recording that my question and how are they even invading the land without your security your army knowing i just find it very questionable and i just think that this is a way for people to create separation create division and create fear and hatred towards everyone because like the most common thing in any single situation, in the overthrow of any single society, is always to divide and conquer. That's literally what it is. Divide and conquer. As long as you create division, you will then create control. As long as you create con uh, control, you will be able to tell them, do whatever whatever you need them to do. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening right now, especially the, rickle, the, trickle, down, the trickle down effect of how this is occurring um, all over social media and affecting U.S. citizens who are either Israeli or Palestinian. But look, y'all, yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to do it a like down below. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this topic. Let me catch you in the next one, man. Peace.